Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a really good day today. Guys, welcome back to a brand new Outriders video. And boy, you are going to want to stick around for this one. So with the release of the Outriders demo comes a lot of hours spent within the game. And because of this, many things have already been discovered. One of these discoveries being on how quickly you can get your hands on some of the best weapons in the game, also known as legendary weapons. Legendary weapons are the highest tier weapons and because of this their drop rate is extremely low and the only way to increase your drop rate is to increase the level difficulty of your world. The demo only gives you access to a difficulty level of 5 which is a 25% drop rate chance. Level 4 is 10% and anything below that is 0. When the full game comes out, the world difficulty can be increased to a maximum of level 15, which increases the drop rate to 300%. The fact that the drop rate can be increased to 300% tells us that both 10% and 25% are actually really low numbers, thus making it harder to drop. We don't know as of yet how many legendary weapons are in the game, including armor too, but I am very eager to get my hands on every single one of them in the most efficient way possible. And I have found exactly how to do that. So if you have some time to spare and if you want to get your hands on these delicious looking legendary weapons, then stick with me as I show you and tell you exactly how to do this. When you load into the main menu after selecting your character, you'll see that on the left hand side you will have the option to select specific story points. I highly recommend that you complete the full demo to unlock all of them as there really isn't much and it will give you access to every location should something else pop up in the future. The story point we want to focus on though is confront the altered at the tower. Select that as your story point and then hit continue game. As soon as you've loaded in, you'll find yourself stood in front of a doorway in which you want to walk through. Just to quickly explain what we're doing here, legendary weapons have a chance of dropping from legendary chests that you can find in the world. The confront the altar that a tower story point has three chests that you can open, all of which are relatively close to each other and there will be no enemies in your way to stop you from doing this. Continue through the door and follow the path, walk up the first few steps and then take your next right turning. Doing so will be a hidden little corner area that has your first chest in it. This is also the same chest that I got one of my legendary weapons from too. Open the chest and make your way back to the door that you just walked through. When you're outside you have two pathways which are either left going down the hill or right which is slightly going up the hill a little higher. Our second chest is just located on the right as you go higher so proceed that way. After looting your second chest you can then take the left turning and head down the hill. Keep into your right hand side because this pathway was split into two sections. As long as you stick to the right and then continue to follow the turning round, you'll then come to a dead end that has your third chest for you to loot. Of course you're not guaranteed to get a legendary weapon straight away so don't be too disheartened if you open up this final chest and you don't get one to drop it this time. Once all three chests have been looted, return back to the lobby screen and select your story point as confront the altered at the tower again and keep repeating the process. The reason why you want to reselect a story point is because it will refresh the chests, making them lootable every single time. I've tried this myself and it does work, however keep in mind that doing this on a tier 5 is the only way you're going to get a drop rate of 25%. Depending on how good your RNG is, you could be there a while, trust me. I know from experience. Now, there are more ways to farm legendaries, however all of the ways that so far I have seen have enemies involved and bosses. This method seems to be the quickest and most efficient way so far at getting legendaries to drop and like I said earlier I've tried this myself and can confirm that this definitely does work. Make sure your world tier is level 5 to maximize your drop rate efficiency and good luck. Guys let me know in the comments below if this helped you, let me know if you actually did get one to drop for you and let me know exactly which exotic that is and yeah, happy hunting. Take care guys. Jakob, I've reached the solar tower. I'm going in. What are you seeing in there? Some kind of weird electrical sparks flying everywhere. It means you're getting close. This altar did our not mention. He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but 
This son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, so am I. Thank you. 